As I'm walking down the campus, I see the beautiful grass um, in front of Cesar Chavez building. So I think about like the resistance of the 1968 liberation strike and reminds me how beautiful I am to be in this space, um, that I'm like, you know, part of the process and really a product of like the resistance of my ancestors and just to be part of here of the Ethnic Studies College. It's just a beautiful reminder every day. When I was doing my internship, I focused my project on Spanish-speaking communities, Latino communities in South San Francisco and just trying to build a comprehensive history of their time in my city because all of the sources or the majority of the sources that were at the museum there in my city or the historical society were Irish immigrants or mainly Italian immigrants, which is wonderful history. It's really fun to learn about too. But being Mexican, I really just want to see more of my history represented in a city where I desperately want to have some sort of footing and a footprint in. I've always been really interested in women's health issues, so being able to have a research project that addressed women's health issues such as breast, ovarian, and fallopian tube cancer, and also is a health equity question, was just the type of work that just makes me excited to be able to do my project, to share my project with other students and with other scientists all over the world, and I'm just so grateful that I was able to pursue that research during my time here. I knew that running for president of SAA, the Student Academy of Audiology, that I would have to public speak. Having taken on that responsibility like, really took me out of my shell to be more of an expert at public speaking and yeah, just speaking with grace and confidence. With higher education, I start to empower myself and become a better person. I began to take time to reflect on my experience and what I had learned and I start to embrace values and treat it as a natural part of the learning process. So I had a major lack in confidence before from dropping out of school. Coming here and being involved with the curriculum in the kinesiology department, I felt like that was the place for me. I've slowly built that confidence just by being guided in the right direction by the staff and the faculty. When I came into SF State, I really wanted to learn how to like scientific field methods, other types of um, like environmental science skills and so going into the geography department and then going on all these field trips was really cool and I grew a lot and learned a lot from going out in the field and collecting data. I recently did a teaching job at a high school at SODA. I was like recommended by my professors to that place and I taught uh, playwriting units. It was such a meaningful experience for me to work with these kids who are actually really talented and I got the self-confidence that I can do this and just realized that my skills have developed so much and now I can actually help others, which is the most beautiful thing I can think of. Prior to this, I used to work serving jobs. This made me a professional. It's opened up doors. It's opened up doors. Like, like my son is now more likely to go to college because I went, right? So that's like a generational thing. That's, 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 the, my mom's going back to school because I went. So like, it usually goes down this way, but apparently in my situation, it's going up too. So like, that's, that's amazing. I transformed professionally, but also on a personal level, I became more spiritually taller. <laughs> I feel uh, lighter as a result because of this curiosity that I naturally have and it was really nurtured as a, as a tool in my learning. I've become a professional and I can sit with that with some confidence. I leave this program like sad that it's over and with my heart full because I know, you know, even right now, if I text somebody with like a question about um, regulations or best practices, like somebody is on it to, to share that information. And so I know I leave with a network of like amazing people and that this will continue. I'm hoping to save the planet, basically. My hope is that whatever I do next is building towards a future where we have all people together protecting this planet um, so that we all people can still exist here. You know, I'm a list person, so to be like checking this big, huge moments of thing off of your list, like, it made done. PhD, here we come. Like, that's, that's really cool.